Mm. Don't expect me to be good, because uh, it's been a long time since we played this. Like, a long time. I am going to be shit, even more so than normal. That's a bad thing. So we'll work it out. New game. Right, what ship are we going to take? I'm not really sure the Kestrel is on the table, because we've used it too many times. I would like to use something we have not used before. I'm not using the Taurus, because we tried that and failed a while back. Um, I, although, I remember originally using this and doing quite well with it, but... Um, I think not for now. So, I would like to potentially use either the Adjudicator, or the Bulwark, or... We've used the Cross before, but I'm not going to rule it out, although I would use the B setup, probably. Um, so basically, we're going to go through, we're going to choose, right, ready? Here's, what, here's, the, here's the options on the table. Here's the options on the table. So, Adjudicator is number one. We're going to start with a vote right out of the gate on this, right? Adjudicator is number one. Bulwark is number two, the rock people, alright, okay, so we're either going to have the Zoltans, the rock people, or we're going to go with the Lanius, okay, but the Lanius B, so it's uh, Zoltan for one, it's the rock guys for two, and it's the uh, Lanius for three, okay, so get ready to vote guys, start voting, let's get the voting music in the mix, let's do it! Da -da -da -da. Let's vote. One, two, or three. What are we going to have? Oh, it's been too long, hasn't it? Look at the voting going down. Okay, we've got two, two, three, three, a lot of three for Lanius. Looks like Lanius is... But we've used the Lanius like a couple of times. This is not... Oh god, it's going to be three then, isn't it? I thought we were going to use the rock people today, but no. Okay, that's enough. I think we've got our decision. Right, okay. Fucking Lanius it is. Right, let's rock and roll. Yes, my friend, King Louis. You can strike it lucky. Okay, so, uh... Right, we've got to come up with a name. First good name wins. So, I mean, we're going to need to decide crew as well. So, first good name wins. What's with the horde icon for everyone? Oh, it's just for, uh... Why, why do some people in Twitch have the Horde icon? I should have that. I'm a fucking World of Warcraft player. Why do people have the Horde icon? What's that all about? Any crew you pick up are going to die. That's not very enthusiastic. Anyway, we start the oxygen systems and stuff when, it, when we get to that point. Warcraft on Twitch. What is this? What is this mysticism? Celebrate the Warcraft movie all week. Choose a side. Type ho ho slash Horde or Alliance to any chat to tell me your badge. Of course Horde, because I am Horde all day long. Yes, for the Horde. And I don't have my icon. Where's my icon? It just said it. Where? Where? Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. I have my icon in uh, Twitch chat now. Yes, I played Horde for five years. Five years of solid destruction. General Rhaegar. Anyway. Um, right, let's kick ass. Look, I like everyone's Horde. Fucking Alliance, they suck. Useless sort of crap they are. Um, right, anyway. I vote Fuse as captain. Yeah, maybe. It's true, and um, Supra normally backs it up, you know. Um, right, anyway, so what... The cr the fucking crusher. <laughs> I actually kind of like that. Uh, yeah, I... I don't, th I don't know if the name is going to work th that long, actually, but I actually kind of like that. Madden! Three months in a row, thank you very much Madden. Guys, give Madden some 1110 in the chat. Right, okay. Oh, I can't put stars in the name. Can't put stars in the name. Not gonna happen. Hey, we should call the ship The Horde because of World of Warcraft. Of course. It makes complete sense. There we go. I don't even need you guys to rename it. I rename it myself. I come up with theories. I know the plans. Right, let's do this. Okay, crew. 
Who wants to be robot crew member then? Okay, we will make Captain Fuse. Against my best wishes. I'm going to, uh, we'll start off, any of you guys can um, jump in later along the line. Um, I'm going to put Supra on the guns. Although, if I put Supra on guns, he can't go on dangerous away missions, so actually no. Uh, he wants to be uh, Zav, okay, alright. Zav on guns. And uh, we'll have Fuse down here. No, sorry, not Fuse, what am I talking about? Uh, we'll have Private Supra. Because he's just starting out, he's not really like a full crew member, you know, he's like a... What? Why wouldn't it let me... What? Why is this his whole name? Oh, God's sakes. There we go, that's better. Oh, no, that's not working either. Oh, God's sake. Trying to get somewhere with this. Right, CB Supra. We all know what it means, alright? There we go. There, okay, that's better. I can't use frickin' dots or anything. Right, so Cabin Boy Supra, who is going to be managing our engine and uh, things else. Well, you're not like a, a proper crew member yet, Supra. You know, you're not. Super, Supra's not very happy about this in the chat, guys. He says, what to the fuck? Um, <laughs> you, you're just, you know, you're starting out, uh, Supra. You've got to make your way in the ship. You know, you can't just, you can't just be expecting to get full ship privileges uh, when you're joining in as the uh, away mission, you know, suicide victim. Um, you know, Captain Fuse up there, Robot Captain Fuse. He's in charge of, um, you know, the, the ship at large. And I, I feel Fuse in the Fuse on Twitch right now on the chat. Uh, Fuse, I mean, you would agree that Supra's rank needs to remain as a CB right now, right? And Fuse would agree. Captain Fuse. Because it's very important, you know, we get these things sorted before we actually leave the dock uh, to head out into space. There we go, see, Captain Fuse has 100% um, agreed that uh, Supra remains down in the engine and is going to be making uh, cups of tea for everybody. Right, uh, let's rock and roll. Um, do you know what, I'm going to randomly decide, I'm not going to choose, I'm going to randomly decide um, what mode we go on. So unfortunately 3 doesn't go into 20, um, so we'll do it a different way. We'll do like, um, what should we do? Um, we'll do it like the last, okay we'll do it like, um, I doubt it's going to be 1 or 20 on the roll, okay? I doubt it's going to be 1 or 20, we'll, uh, we'll do it the way. I, it's going to be 19 or 20, right? So we'll do like 1 to 8, okay we'll do 1 to 8 is easy. Um, you know, 8 to 16, and that's not going to work, is it? 9 to 16 is going to be, yeah, okay, so we'll do 1 to 8 is easy, 9 to 16 is normal, and anything above 16 is hard. Okay, here we go. We'll just do it like that. 10. Okay, so we're doing on normal. Bollocks. Normal, like, fucking super hard. Okay, off we go. The data that you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next, but get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Asteroids and fields is dangerous, but use it to your advantage, etc. <clears throat> and here we all are. Happy days are here. So, what's our situation? Happily, nobody needs real oxygen right now. Oh, here we have our crazy ass mind control thing, right? I forgot about that. Is it charging up or what? It's been a long time since I played this. Oh, yeah, we have our flak system. Maybe this is only active, like, um. when we have actual people nearby. That seems to make sense. I can't remember whether the flak, I remember we had this last time whether the flak thing does a lot of damage, but I think it does. I think last time I had like a weird first battle where it didn't really work, you know, but um, anyway, let's see. Right, okay, so we've got our first options, one, two, three. Now again, I'm not going to get you guys to vote every single time we do this. I will be taking some executive decisions. 
Um, I'm going to try and go like this way around. Um, I, we do have the uh, the helper on for sort of plotting course. We have, we're using our computer systems because in the past we've had some quite catastrophic uh, issues. Oh god, it's the sun. Freaking like first first bloody jump, and it's the sun. This beacon has been placed too close to a super giant class M star. Yeah, I know. The ship will overheat until you get out of here or die. Oh great. Okay. Oh, and then we get attacked as well. Fantastic. Okay. Can't detect life. Where's my um Where's the camera systems? Wait, do we not even have the camera systems yet? Oh, damn it. Right, fuck them up. You're no good, my friend. I don't even need to really target specific rooms because it's just gonna break through shit anyway. Wait, come on, fire! God damn it! I've gotta get out of here before this bloody no. We need, we really need camera systems on board. Come on, fire! Oh god! Right, we're going. Let's go. Let's go. We need to search around here. Luckily, we've got no oxygen on board, so that will help us. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Two missiles. One of those things, which is like remote or something, I can't remember. Um, 16 fuel and a repair drone. That's quite useful. What is it? Drone parts. I can hear fire, but I don't see fire. Oh, we better save their positions while we're at it. Station saved. Super, go look around for fire. Is that it? Oh shit. Yeah, where was it? Super, put out that fire. Oh, let's get the hell out of here. It's okay if the ship catches fire, there's no oxygen. Yeah, they still go out, kind of. Once you arrive, your screen lights up with a warning. A nearby pirate seems to have advanced hacking tools and they have tried to shut down your engines. Your crew manages to keep them barely operational before you move in to attack. Super, get that fire out, man. We need it down. Let's get that bloody thing going on. Super! There we go, okay. We've lost our doors, but whatever. Alex. Jesus Christ! It ruined us! It's not good at all. We really need to see in there. Our shields are on fire as well. That's pretty bad. There we go. Oh crap, now we've got no shields. This is not going well. This is not going well at all. I'm going to have to make some serious repairs after this. Come on, ruin them. Right, there we go. Right, hopefully the fire is just going to go out. Right, we've got... Um, Fuel and uh, scrap. I was thinking that was fuel, but it wasn't. You know, these fires sound like they're not going out. In fact, Super's going to... Uh, this really doesn't sound like this fire is going out. You know, people are saying there's... There's no oxygen in some of these rooms, but there is... This is not good. We need to wrap up that, um, no, no, don't wrap up this, oh my god, it's all going wrong, everything's going to fire, get in here, dude, oh shit, oh shit, super fuse is going to die, okay, we've got oxygen, go, and do stuff, it's all going wrong, ship is burning down, we don't need shields, we need to get the fire out, come on, where is it, where is it, where is it, that well, sounds like it's gone out by itself. Get that started before anything else. It's ridiculous. Absolutely insane. Leave this. <sighs> what a beginning. Use your burbling bloody things to work that out. Come on. Well, that didn't go well at all. Not at all. What we need is we need the bloody upgrades. We need. Where is our cameras even? Do we not even have cameras? How can we not have cameras on this ship? It's ridiculous. We need sensors. Fuse, get back to your station. When these two have finished blurping about, we can get on with things, right? And there we go. Fire can still damage your ship. Yeah, I mean, we know it can still damage the ship. But um, some idiot earlier on said, oh, you have no oxygen in your ship, which is not true. It's just that these guys take oxygen out of the room. So that was a mistake that I really should have thought about. But because we've got no sensors, we can't see... Um, as per usual, we can't see like uh, what any of our rooms are, which is not especially helpful. Right, let's go this way. Oh, God alive. This is normal, by the way. Normal. 
And especially while armed pirate ship approaches you, hand over one of your crew members. I think that's definitely not going to happen. Well, we could give him super, but I don't know. No, that's not, that's not really up for it. Right, we'll never surrender one of our crew to slavers. Oh god, they've got things. Uh, we'll try and target their... Um... Oh god, he's going to take out our shields. See, my mind control thing would be really, really helpful at this point if we could even... Oh god. And right, there we go. My flak thing is actually pretty powerful. Um, but it's just a case of actually... There you go, see, now we're taking their weapons out. Come on, take them down. There we go, we can just keep neutralising them. See, the, f the flak thing is quite powerful. Um, but it's just a case of keeping them... They're, they're ripping their weapons really good. Oh, hello. We surrender. Take one of our slaves as a tribute. If you destroy us, they'll die anyway. That's actually a pretty good deal, so we're going to take that. Alright, my friend. So now we get Western. A little Western here, which is useful for us. Western. Mike Weston. Who would like to take on the role of Nuka? We don't like your name, Mike. We want to call you something else. You're joining us. And you're a slave anyway, dude, so you can, you know, suck it up like whatever we want to call you. We can call you Captain Banana if we want to. That's what you have to be called. Alright, guys, who would like to join the crew? Tell me in the chat right now if you would like to join the crew. Red Devil. It says moi. What else we got? Yes, maybe more, more creative. Mid Asian, G Dom, Van der Shaw. Red Devil got in there first. I'll tell you what, I'm going to randomise it. I'm going to roll the dice again for the same system. For make him Supra 2. <laughs> okay, we're going to roll the dice on um, the first three people that join in the same number system as I did to start with. Let's see. 20, which is going to be the third person. So, uh, Vandor. Congrats. Sorry for the other two people. Vandor, you are the new crew member. Which is actually kind of good. Vandor's a good name, I think. Right, what's going to be your role, Vandor? I suppose it will be um, shields. So get on those shields, buddy. Right, okay. Shielding up. Uh, Manning increases our shield recharge speed, of course. It's not rigged. <laughs> Rolling a dice, it's like, couldn't be more random. Okay, let's go. There's a distress beacon here, let's go see if... Can we... Can we uh, we're gonna have to go like, one, two... We can probably get away with that. And we can judge time on the next one, so we'll go. Alright, let's see what's up with this. We really need to get some... Oh, you've encountered a refugee ship drifting in space. It looks as if it was fleeing the Rebel Advance and ran out of fuel. This distress beacon is active, but you're not sure anyone is on board and communication seems to be down. Super cabin boy, go and investigate. Oh no! <laughs> every time, every time we play this game. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry, okay. It's just like, if you've not joined before, if you're new to this, if you're new to watching me play this game, every time we play this game, we have Supra as one of the crew members, and every time I do an away mission, Supra gets killed. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, every time, it's so funny. <laughs> but it's like, it's kind of random, so why is it Supra every time? <laughs> Oh, Supra, we barely knew you. <laughs> uh, wait, what? Did I read that wrong? What, what, what? Wait, wait, wait. Stream, wake up. Tell me what the chat... I didn't even read it. I thought it said that he died. He's back? What happened? Your abandoned crewman was waiting on the ship when you returned, trying to dwell on the fate of his previous incarnation. Wait, what? Did I misread that? What happened? Oh, because we have the cloner! Oh, oh! Wow! Wow, you got by the skinny of teeth there, Supra. So because we had the cloner... That's freaking epic. Ever... <laughs> okay, I like to imagine that the cloning, the cloning process is extremely painful. <laughs> and so Supra was just like, 
<laughs> like we're all just kind of having a cup of tea, and we sent Supra off down to the, sh the planet, and then <laughs> you just see the clone like come on, like ping green, and then Supra just comes through, ah, <laughs> like just <laughs> coming out of the cloning thing, and it's just like, oh hey dude, how did your away mission go? <laughs> Oh dear, okay. Well, let's carry on anyway. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Probably best to avoid distress beacons for a while. Well, the next one must be good, so... <clears throat> Nearby planet shows signs of habitation and great beauty. A rudimentary automated planetary defense system is looping its message. Warning quarantine level 5 in effect. Blah blah blah, quarantine level 5. Probably best to stay away. Now we need to get through here and get out. Arrive a populated sector. One merchant seems to be mass broadcasting requests for a mercenary ship to aid him. Yeah, why not? We need some. Uh, we need to take the role. I was greatly worried no one respond. My usual carry is days late. I need you to deliver this cargo of drone parts to a small station a few jumps from here. Yep. Okay, let's do that. Ah, oh, that's easy. We just got to get here. Right, let's go to the store. We have basically zero scrap because freaking tricky difficulty. Oh, we, that's what we need! Oh, we can sell this bitch. Let's get rid of that. Wait, is that...? Yeah, repair drones. Right, okay, so we'll get sensors, because we super need sensors. And I will also... How much fuel have we got? Plenty. Yeah, so I'm going to fix all of this... Oh, uh, right. Fix some. Oh, Beth! We could have got you Beth, but bad luck. Bounty Hunter. Okay, finally we have sensors, which is super important. Because sensors mean we can see what's going on in our own ship, for starters. And it also means that we can actually use our mind control device. Well, actually, no, it doesn't because... Um, it might be more beneficial to have Vandor on the um, mind control. Oh, this music. Why did it say a man? Oh, because we're not on census. Wake up, Luton. I know it's 1 a.m., but wake up, please. Come on. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Um, so, the reason we put Vandor in there, I mean, actually, he can dodge between the shield and there, but the reason we put Vandor in the sensor room is because level two, if it's manned, because manning a station gives it plus one, um, that basically means that we can see into other enemy ships, and that's important because when we can see into enemy ships, we can use our mind control device, and that is extremely powerful. So that's going to be really good. Okay, we need to get to our quest marker so we can come down and then up to the exit. So we're going to go here next. <coughs> The horde continue. Your jump leads you to nothing other than an empty space. Okay, that's fine. Right, here we go. You arrive at the location given to you by the merchant. You are supposed to deliver drone parts to a station here. You find a small research station and discover that it's putting out a distress signal. Strangely, there's no response to your hails. You must dock and investigate. Uh, the dock with the station sees a frantic person banging on the airlock. Once inside your ship, he drops to the floor saying, My friends, they've gone insane, they're coming! You hand him a blaster and turn to see a number of people charging toward the ship. Prepare for a fight. Oh, bollocks! Get in the mix, Supra. Uh, actually, what we'll do is we will... Um, if I... If Supra gets on that door there, will that give extra door power? I can obviously basically just uh, set this all up. Let's get uh, Burko in here. Let's get Burko here, actually. Should the need arise. Oh crap, they can just go wherever they want to. Okay. Well, in that case, um, we will await their progress here and just let them die for now. Um, we will continue to use their... Shit. Damn it, what are you doing? Come back, you... Also, we have the bet. Whoa, whoa, whoa! They're just getting in the mix. Bitches. Look at this. What do you think they're playing at? They're just like getting in the mix here. Hey, come back! They don't even want to fight! Bastards. So, get in the mix, guys. We've still got a cloning system, so we may as well just close all the doors at this Oh, doors are broken. Bollocks. Okay. Well, we'll worry about that in a minute. I might just bring you in here. I'm gonna send uh need to go fix the doors. Oh shit. Are 
they're trying to like ruin our ship here. It's bullshit. Fix the doors. This is not good. Everyone's gonna die. But luckily our cloning thing is still on, on track. But the other guy's gonna die soon too as well, I think. Right, doors are freaking sorted. Killing everybody. It's bullshit. Come on, fuck him up. Ugh. Finally. Finally, it is happening to me. They didn't really damage our ship too much. That didn't go well. Everyone needs to get better at fighting. The, the problem was was that they kept running away, and so we really couldn't um, do too much, which was kind of annoying. Uh, luckily our systems didn't really suffer greatly, and everyone is just steadily coming back, so that's fine. Right, Burka, you get up there. Vandor is still cloning. Vandor's coming out. And it comes out of the freaking cloning thing. Right. See, they, they, like, ran out of there straight away. I tell you what, we need to get door upgrades ASAP, is what we need. Right, go back to your stations, everybody. To be honest, I think Supra was slacking off there. He didn't really put enough heart into that fight. But, um, anyway. Right, well, let's continue to the exit now. GG, everyone died. Yeah, they did die. But luckily we got the cloner, so they all came back. So, technically, nobody died. Um, you've arrived at the long-range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Short-range scanners may discover useful materials while we wait for the FTL to recharge. Hmm. Let's explore because I need stuff. Yay! You happen upon an abandoned mining site, a few mining drones, and we repurposed. So we got 17. What can we get for our um, upgraded doors? We need 35. We're way away. This is the trouble playing on normal as well. It's like we just get nothing from the environment, which sucks. Next sector. Um, which way do I want to go? There's a freaking nebula there, so I don't want to go that way. <laughs> You're far from the Federation home space here in Zoltan territory, and it's not clear whether the authorities will have any goodwill remaining. But you push forward. Well. We should probably go to this one first, and then I'll decide. Oh, please! Why? You catch a glimpse of a strange signal coming from a space station before blah blah blah, hostiles on board the ship. Until you are able to jump away from the hostile space station, your sensors will be disabled. You should deal with these borders first, though. Like, really? Sake. Are they? Let's just send all the able bodied people down here. Let's send these guys this way. Find them. Okay, here they are. Don't let them destroy the cloner! Fucking hell. Let's send these guys in as backup, actually, as well. We can mind control one of these bastards. <laughs> Whoa, 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 what's happening here? Oh god, I thought the game crashed then for a second. Don't destroy the clone bay, you bitches! So nearly destroyed. I'll finish him. Finish him. Yes. Okay, good job, guys. Right, um, wrap things up. Everyone is nearly dead, that's not so good, but, um, you know, can't win everything, can you? Ah, there we go. Bloody stores all over the place here. 
can't do stores yet, we haven't got enough gear. Let's go to this one and see what happens. Yeah, we really do need upgrades. It's because we don't have any scrap. I mean, this is the trouble. This is the trouble when you do it on, like, normal, is you just get nothing. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I mean, I know it's meant to be hard, but it's like, <laughs> when you get nothing, it's hard to do anything. You jump into a debris field that used to be a Zoltan cruiser. Unfortunately, this NGS got takes you for the attack and retaliates. Or, uh, refuse hail, blah, blah, blah. All right, let's, um, first of all, attack uh, our shield man here. And we will target their shields. Or will we? The weapons, no. Weapons. Okay, here we go. So we've just attacked their little robot man. And our weapon will advance fire whenever we can. There we go. I wish your guys kind of healed over time. It's annoying that they just stay really injured. I think they do actually heal over time a little bit, right? I can't remember. There we go. Let's start that. Oh, crap. Quick Zav. Wrap it up. Oh, there we go. Doing pretty bad. Our, uh... Yeah, mind control is nearly back. That's it, yeah, fight each other, you noobs. Right, come on. Hit him again, and then we're hurting them as well if we land on them. There we go, look at that, we nearly killed them. Come on. Oh, they killed each other, that's so sad. What a tragedy! They killed each other in the process, how grim. Ah, oh, finally we have new stuff. Right, somebody said wait till 50 for the doors, but I'm very tempted to just like... Because we get improved blast doors. But I'm actually really tempted to not do that and just put that so we have some to wrap or do other things with and just save a bit because I'm trying to, you know, that'll be a good enough bonus for right now. And we can, if they attack this area again, we can just open doors or whatever. They heal when you travel. Yeah, I seem to remember realizing that now. Um, right, let's go up here and then hope that we get like some big halls so we can actually go to the store. Um, because otherwise we're going to get stuck. You've been hailed by a rebel ship. When the rebellion is complete, you'll see the safer world we provide. Blah, blah, blah. And uh, they're going to ruin us. Right, let's um, take down Mr... Oh, shit. Let's take down this guy if we can. They've got a stupid droid thing. Oh, wait, I can't mind control the droids? Okay, fine. I'll just get the guy to try and destroy their own weapons. To be beneficial to us. I keep getting some weird lag spikes at the moment, guys. I don't know why. It keeps kind of freezing. Oh, yeah, they've destroyed their weapons. Good, good, good. Um, the reason we target the weapons mainly is because with the flak weapon, it kind of breaks the shields anyway, and then the extra flak, if it hits the weapons, will generally just keep it disabled as is happening, which is the best tactic for trying to take these guys down because. <coughs> The only trouble is when we get to a point where it's trying to power up FTL, that's not good. Um, once they get extra weapons, we've got to try and disable their engine, there we go. No surrender! I would ask the stream, but you guys always say no surrender, so come on, hit him again, hit him again! Yeah, get ready. 22 scrap, that's what I'm talking about, that's what we need. It's barely anything, though, tragically. But, right, we've got to go to the store. We can't help the distress, because then we'll be stranded. Hello, store. Right, what have we got? Nothing that we can afford, but we might be able to wrap up. We could... Uh, no weapons or anything. Oh, this is a sad state of affairs. Well, we could... We need to try and save some money, so... And we also need a little bit of fuel because... So to, oh, we can fix all for four. Okay, there we go. Bollocks to it. We'll just do that. Right, okay, let's rock and roll. I haven't asked you guys for which direction to vote for yet because we haven't really kind of been in a position where we've been doing that, but we will eventually. Ice cream sandwiches from Ramos on the Twitch chat. Thank you very much, buddy. Um... Or in the whale, remember you need looting? I do actually. Long time no see, I've been really busy, so happy to be able to catch the stream. Welcome aboard, my friend. You see the transmission. Sorry, sir, there's nothing personal, but we're under orders. The rebel ship's weapons go hot. Again, let's try and um, neutralize them. Damn, I don't know whether this is like my mouse or what is going on. Okay, and this is like freezing. I think it must be the game. I don't know why though, I've never ever had that with this game. Right, off we go. 
guy is destroying his own weapons to begin, so that's good news for us. And then we can finish by doing that. But we really need to get some other weapons, you see, because uh, there will become a point 